In many parts of Thailand, Kachin refugees have forged new lives. Johnny Adhikari now has a tailoring business, donating some of his profits to other Kachin, who left neighboring Myanmar because of the fighting. He'd like to return home, but doesn't think the talks will provide him with any good news. We always hope that it should change, it should be good since 20 years ago, but it still keep going like this kind of situation. The Myanmar government flew its top negotiator into Thailand to meet with the Kachin and other ethnic minority groups. Government Minister Ong Min has successfully reached ceasefire deals with other rebel armies, but the situation in Kachin state shows little sign of improving. This is an informal meeting. We released a joint statement on the 4th of February, and since then all the fighting has stopped. We will have a follow-up meeting in the near future. The Kachin disagree and claim the fighting has continued since an escalation in December. The Myanmar military used airstrikes against the Kachin Independence Army, which is fighting for autonomy. The rebels also allege government troops have used chemical weapons, rape and torture after a 17-year ceasefire was broken in 2011. Kachin officials have been quietly critical of this meeting, dismissing it as a mere meet-and-greet situation, so much so that they haven't sent any senior representatives from Kachin state. Therefore, any significant developments are unlikely, meaning the ongoing war will continue to take a toll on the lives of Kachin people, either at home or away. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Chiang Mai.